It's a great chance. Promise me you won't bumble it up. Bumble it up? Me? Just behave like a gentleman. Don't overdo it. Oh, uh, don't overdo it. Be pleasant and don't insult the man. Oh. The deal? Sure. Good. Mr. Sloan, I'm very glad to make your acquaintance, sir. I've heard a lot of wonderful things about you. Finally, there's something on your coat. That's enough. Have a spill. Our guest of honor tonight <clears throat> needs no introduction. But I have one or two points which I wanted to make by way of introduction. Uh, I am reminded of a story which probably most of you have heard. I think it's quite permissible to tell it here tonight as we're all one big family. Uh, there were... <clears throat> the man that we have as guest of honor here tonight is the man, I feel free to say, who has made this company what it is today. The question now arises, what is this company today? I don't want to inject a serious note into the occasion, but <laughs> what is anything today? <clears throat> so much for the production end. When this man entered the field, there was, let us face it, a bottleneck in the industry. You all know what a bottleneck is. But uh, it's not as easy as that. Now, I have prepared or had prepared some uh, charts which will show you more graphically just what this bottleneck was and <coughs> how this one man aided, of course, by thousands of you employees, <laughs> uh, eliminated the bottleneck and substituted for it uh, Now, uh, here is a chart showing plastic production as uh, <clears throat> compared with metal production in the year... Well, the year doesn't seem to be shown on here. Uh, so we'll say 1936 for fun, huh? Uh, <clears throat> in 1936, you'll see, or whatever year it was, that these things uh, ran into fantastic figures. Uh, for instance, <clears throat> in 1936, 2,445,000, as compared with 3,350,000 in some other year. Uh, or 25% uh, of 1936. And by 1936, it's meant 1934. This is all per capita, mind you. Now we. <clears throat> Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, <clears throat> this is the wrong chart. <laughs> uh, I thought, you see, this has got aluminum and nickel and tin on it, and we were going to uh, work on... Uh, man, I was here, here. Well, that's more like it. See, this has the years on it. That makes it much easier to understand. Now, uh, here is, we have the maximum peak. Now, I presume that means in man hours, per hour, per man hour. And the bottleneck here came in getting these man hours uh, from 1940 to 1939. <clears throat> uh, well, let's look at it from another angle. In 1942, 160 million, you see. 1941, uh, until we reach the probable saturation point and high time to... <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, I don't know, it's uh, when you consider that all of these were man hours and foot pounds per hour, well, I just don't see <laughs> how the man did it, frankly. Now we come to the mobilization. <clears throat> Well, <clears throat> I see that my time is up, and uh, some other time, perhaps. I don't understand that one. Um, but the point that I wanted to make was that we're all here tonight 
And, uh, it now gives me great pleasure to introduce our eminent guest of honor, the man who, as I said before, needs no introduction, Mr. Harvey Sloan. <laughs> <laughs> 